please find the current in each resistor over here. In this circuit, we have 3 ohms and 6 ohms in parallel, and then their combination is in series with the 8 ohms. Because these two are in series, so they have to share the voltage. They have to share the 20 volts. So in this circuit, no single resistor is getting 20 volts. It's not obvious how many volts each segment gets. So it's a good idea for us to find the equivalent resistance so we can simplify the circuit. We will start with these two in parallel. For resistors in parallel, we have to use the 1 over R equation. So the 1 over equivalent resistance is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6, which will be 2 plus 1 divided by 6, which is 1 half. And then we have to remember to flip it over, so the equivalent resistance is 2 ohms, which means we can replace this combination with 2 ohms. So it's 2 ohms and 8 ohms in series connected to the 20 volt battery. So the current in this circuit would equal to V over R. The voltage is 20 volts. The resistance is 2 and 8 in series, 2 plus 8. So the current is 2 amps. And so the current in this circuit is 2 amps. So this is the current going through the 8 ohms. The 2 ohms also gets 2 amps, but the 2 ohms is really these two in parallel. If they are in parallel, do they get the same 2 amps or do they have to share the 2 amps? They would have to share the 2 amps. We'll have to find out how they share the 2 amps. One way to find out how they share the current is to use ratio. We can say V equals to IR. For those two resistors in parallel, they get the same voltage. That means that when they share the current, the, the one with the larger resistance will get a smaller current share. And they happen to be inversely related. So if the resistance is 1 to 2, they would share the current 2 to 1. So that means that the current through the 3 ohms would be 2 to 1, so it's 2 thirds of the total current. 2 thirds of the 2 amps they share. So this is uh, 4 thirds of an amp. And the uh, current going through the 6 ohms, because uh, they share the current 2 to 1, so this will be 1 third of the 2 amps. So this is 2 thirds of an amp. Another way to do this is uh, that these two, they are in parallel, so we know that they get the same voltage. So it can be convenient to look at the voltage over here instead. The voltage across the 2 ohms is uh, I times R. The current going through the 2 ohms is 2. The resistance is 2. So this 2 ohms get uh, 4 volts. And because this one is really these two in parallel, that means uh, they get the same four votes. They do not have to share the four votes. They get the same four votes. So the three ohms gets four votes. The six ohms also get four votes. Therefore, the current the three ohms get is uh, V over R. It gets four divided by the three ohms. So four thirds is uh, the current. The current going through the 6 ohms is uh, the 6 ohms also gets the same 4 volts. So this is V over R, 4 divided by 6. So it's 2 thirds of an amp. So of course the answer should be the same, whichever way you use to solve the problem.